Lift the frame per manufacturer's recommendation. Always lift the trailer by the frame and never by its axle or suspension components, as they are not rated for the dead weight or point of contact loads that the trailer's frame is. Never go under the frame unless the frame is properly supported. Using an impact, remove the lug nuts from around the wheel. Keep in mind, you will need to save these lug nuts for later use. When using an impact to remove lug nuts, ensure that the socket has stopped rotating before trying to push it onto the next lug nut so as to avoid rounding the corners of the lug nuts. Remove the wheel from the axle hub and set it aside. Next, identify the power and ground wires leading to the axle you are going to replace. Cut the power and ground wires to prevent snagging them when removing the axle. Next, you will need to slide underneath the unit itself with a jack. Place the jack under the center of the axle and begin lifting. Be careful while lifting so as to not cause any further damage to the axle. When the axle is raised up and pressure is taken off the shackles on the ends, place jack stands under the axle to support it. With the axle properly supported, remove the bolts securing your shackles to the leaf spring. Be sure to use a wrench to hold the bolt head while removing the nuts to ensure the splines do not damage your shackles. Inspect your shackles for any signs of wear or damage. Next, push out the bolts from the leaf spring and equalizer with a rubber mallet. If the bolts stick inside one of the eyelets, gently tap them out with a punch, avoiding the threads when doing so. Inspect the shackle and bolts for any signs of wear or damage, just like before. If working on a unit utilizing correct track, note the position of the cams prior to uninstallment. This will assist with reassembly upon the completion of your procedures. Uninstalling the shoulder bolts in your hangers should follow the same procedure as those in your leaf spring and equalizer. Be sure to inspect the bolts for any damage. When the axle is free, go back under the unit with your floor jack for an easier removal process. Lift the jack into position in the center of the axle once again. Raise the axle up until the jack stands are freed. Slide the jack stands back out of the way and lower the axle down until it clears the unit. Then, proceed to slide the axle out from under the unit. Next, to bring in the new axle, place the jack under the center of the axle and slide it under the unit. Ensure that the axle is not dragging on the ground when doing so. Position the axle under the unit and slowly raise it into position. You may need to make slight adjustments to the axle placement in order to line it up properly. Prior to installation, ensure that the axle is facing the correct direction with the axle tag facing towards the back of the unit. Once the axle is in position, place jack stands underneath to support it. Next, adjust the axle positioning until the eyelet of the leaf spring lines up with your hanger. Then, push your bolt through. Remember, if working on a system with correct track, to place the cam in the same position it was in when you first took it off. Next, reinstall your bolts and shackles on the equalizer and leaf spring on the other side of the axle. Repeat this for both sides of the unit. Tighten your nuts on finger tight to hold position. If using new or previously used bolts, reapply grease on the shaft of the bolt itself. This would be an example of a standard shackle bolt, as you see in this video. Other options, like wet bolts, have a grease cirque on the head of the bolt that would allow for grease application to be done after the bolt has been installed. With your bolts reinstalled, grab a torque wrench and torque the nuts on the bolts down using a wrench again to hold the side of the bolt in place so as to prevent the splines from spinning.
Repeat the process of torquing the bolts from your equalizer and leaf spring axle for the hanger bolt as well. Repeat this on both sides of the unit. With your axle properly secured, it's time to rewire your brakes. Grab your power wires and reconnect them using a 3M scotch lock. Ensure that the fitting is tightly crimped. Repeat this process for your ground wires as well. Next, it's time to reinstall the tires. Roll the tires into position, lining up the holes with the studs for the lug nuts. Remount the tires onto the hub assembly. Once the wheel has been remounted, grab your lug nuts from where you stored them and replace them all by hand. Continue to hand tighten the wheel lug nuts to help prevent cross threading when you use your impact. Next, Retighten your lug nuts following a star shape pattern to ensure that the tire is properly mounted. Ensure that the socket on your impact is not still spinning when trying to reinsert on the lug nuts, as this could round off the corners of the lug nuts. Next, you will once again want to lift the chassis up off the jack stands. Once the jack stands are free, remove them and lower the frame back down. With the tires back on the ground, Grab a torque wrench and tighten each lug nut down to the recommended torque specs found in the service manual. Tighten your lug nuts in the same star pattern you used to tighten them down with your impact. Check and retorque your wheel lug nuts after 10, 25, and 50 miles and check periodically during regular service. 